and welcome back. Uh, welcome back to the Stone and Crane Show. The double check I'm recording. <laughs> I was just thinking. <laughs> no, I was like, you know, we're doing a music. So this week we're going to be talking about our top five uh, band slash artists. Uh, well, favorite band slash artists. Um, I was just thinking, well, Kyle's technically an artist now. He has music that plays before every single episode <laughs> that we do. <laughs> uh, so where do you rank yourself? Top three? <laughs> oh, dead, dead, dead fucking last. Dead last. Dead last. Even dude. behind Volby? <laughs> yeah, behind Volby and Buck Cherry. <laughs> And, and five figure death punch. I'm right behind those guys. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> so as I said, we're gonna be talking about our favorite bands and artists, uh, and whatnot. So, anything that pertains to that, the that uh, kind of general subject, I guess. To blabber yeah. on. Let's just, as always, let's just hop right into it. I guess. Enough of the small yeah. talk. <laughs> Enough of the small talk. Do you want to go first? Or you went first yeah, last I'll time. Go. Actually, I'll go first. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you go first because yeah. I went first. Um, oh shoot! I guess if we're going top five. It re- or for me, it doesn't matter too much. I guess we'll start with with uh, we'll start with Johnny Cash, number five. Johnny Cash, dude. I've been loving Johnny Cash lately. Lately, right. in always, obviously, but. Man, rest in peace, Johnny Cash. I love Johnny Cash. Down, man. down, down in the burning ring of fire. It's not even my favorite. He was song. probably um. <laughs> he was probably one of my favorite like uh, like storyteller musicians out there. Oh yeah, know? oh yeah. I mean, there's a couple of of uh, actually. Oh, that reminds me. I got there's this rapper that does kind of a storytelling version of, you know, rapping. Obviously, that she really like. He's not my top five or anywhere close, but yeah, no, yeah, the storytelling is. I love it. Um, boy, what's the boy name? Sue. I forget the title oh, yeah. name. I love that one. <laughs> um, man. Yeah, the the man in black. Man in black is like one of my. Favorite. Probably his biggest. Would you say that's his biggest song, "Man in Black"? No, no. I, I walk the line. Oh yeah, I, I you're walk right. the line. Ring of Fire, Full Prison Blues. Ring of, yeah, I mean, uh, and Hurt, Hurt's probably. I think Hurt's probably one of his probably his most recognizable song with the younger generation because that was the last song he did. I feel like Ring of Fire died. would be. Ring of Fire is pretty big, um, but I think Hurt, just because of like the cover, and it was the last music video he did, it was like his last big release right before he died, so like, that was such a huge thing, man, like, because music videos were really big then in like that mid-2000s, and like, like right around that time, man, and, and Hurt, it just blew up, that video, I remember when it came out, because I was like, high school and that video was just humongous it was everywhere i remember that was like the most famous johnny cash had been in my life like i'd always known about him because i grew up around that kind of music but like people that i knew they never even heard of johnny cash now i knew about johnny cash because he covered her and it hurt so like it was humongous man but i think yeah Red fire and, and i walked the line are probably and then of course was full of person moves is pretty famous but Ring of Fire, I walk the line. I think it probably is. Hurts a cover yeah. too. Yeah, that's why I just said Hurts a cover. Oh, Trent Reznor. I missed that. Yeah, yeah. Her, Trent Reznor wrote it in the early nineties. Yeah, yeah ninety four. Yeah, and he wrote it, and it's you know it's about addiction and just like life and struggling. And when Johnny Cash sang it, Trent Reznor actually said it's like, it's almost like he wrote it. And then it's almost like he wrote it for Johnny Cash at that moment, like the way he sang it and portrayed it. Yeah, he wrote you know, it, but Johnny Cash lives. brought it to li- brought it to life, kind of deal. Yeah, it's crazy shit, man. Because like you watch that video, it's that video is one of the very few songs get me emotional. And that song is oh, yeah. like the song will get me emotional more so crazy. than a movie or television series yeah, ever. Easily, will. easily, yeah. Music gets me going 
constantly. All, I, all I get time, way too so. deep into this. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I just need to shut the, shit that off. Video, dude, that video I'll be driving down the road and just, bang. Yeah. <laughs> just like, what yeah, the fuck am I doing? It's like, I'm, I'm not crying. I'm alone in my car. I'm about to fucking cry. Like, get a grip, man. <laughs> I got allergies. I got uh, too much pollen. Too much pollen. Yeah, more times than not, it's it's Johnny Cash. <laughs> I love, yeah, I love Johnny Cash, dude. You should check out um, there's an artist named Coulter Wall, and uh, he's I love he he's he was close to being on this list for me. Coulter um, Wall. Coulter Wall, yeah. Okay. He's um he's like a modern day Johnny Cash. He's got that low low voice, and his storytelling is fucking fantastic, man. He's that old timey type music dude he is just absolutely amazing man okay um, he's he was really close to me on this but he's a lot he's a lot like johnny cash very similar styles yeah probably better musician than johnny cash was but yeah maybe not maybe not as good as voice but same style as man. same style so. do i have it somewhere down here trying to find that that rapper i was thinking of damn oh well <laughs> <laughs> uh, i'm sure you'll think of it later right right uh, okay buddy what's your number um, five uh seven dust seven dust yeah i could have uh, yeah. I probably could have guessed that one for you. Seven Dust is uh, the best live band I've ever seen in my entire life. I've been to, man, I don't know, over 50 shows probably in my life. I mean, I think of, like my brother and those guys, man, they've probably been over 100, and they'll probably agree. Like Seven Dust is, they they close it, dude. Every Everyone is... They just kill it, dude. There's like, I don't even know. There's like, there's there's <laughs> levels to live, there's levels to live shows, and like you can put everybody else on a level, and Seven Dust is miles ahead of them, live, and like I don't I like most of their studio albums, and most of them are every studio album they put out is is good. They're they're good albums. I don't think all of them are great, but I I do like all of their music. There's some albums I, I really appreciate a lot more and really listen to a lot more than other ones, but everything they put out for the most part is good music. <laughs> live, live, they're amazing. Yeah. Have you ever seen Seven Is Live? Not live, no. I haven't seen, I haven't been to that many concerts. I've been to like a handful. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Seven Dust. Yeah, they're they're amazing at Seven Dust, man. And they've been making music since the early '90s, dude, and they're still absolutely amazing. Still plucking away. Yeah, still fucking killing it, man. Blood and Stone. Yeah, that's a new one. Cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. Good old Seven Dust, man. Man, can't find that other one. Cool. Seven dust number five. Carrying on, we I'm gonna go with Coldplay. Coldplay, huh? Yeah. Whenever I just want to be sad for no reason, I'm just gonna listen to Coldplay. <laughs> 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 I swear, some of their some of their songs, like Scientist and. Uh, Viva la vida is, it's just like, uh, listening to it, it's like, I don't know why, but now I just, just want to be sad. <laughs> Fucking cold play, man. <laughs> uh, uh, I, don't, uh, I don't, I don't dislike cold play. <laughs> I have like a, I have a lot of respect for the for fucking what's his face man the lead singer mm. uh, chris. i can't remember his names man let's say chris yeah chris chris martin chris martin, is chris that martin. okay 
Um, he's cool as shit, dude. Super nice guy, man. Um, seems like really down to earth human being for being as famous as they are. Um, yeah. Probably one of the biggest bands on the planet, dude. They're so ridiculously famous, man. That just selling out freaking soccer stadiums and shit, dude. And, yeah, that's crazy. Soccer ridiculous. stadiums are fucking huge. Like, yeah, they're so big, dude. Bigger than anything. I'm, like, it's like Talladega. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah they're just hundred thousand seats and shit, man. And yeah, dude, it's. It's absolutely nuts, man. I, I mean, I'm not, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan, but, like, I don't... It's not like... I'm like, oh, fuck that band. You know what I mean? I just don't... Uh, right, right. It's like, if, if they're on, I'm like, eh, whatever. You know? I just, uh... Yeah, I've just never been like, yeah, fuck yeah, Coldplay. But I just don't... I, I'm, this, like, indifferent towards them. There's this um, cover that Captain Sparkle, Sparkles does. <laughs> <laughs> on their uh their what was it the viva the viva song i think it's uh, let me see what um, yeah okay it's called fallen kingdom a minecraft parody by captain sparkles um of Coldplay's Viva La is man it's I don't know what to say about it it's it's like one of my favorite covers and it's like so like just like it's Minecraft it's like how could he get me so emotionally involved <laughs> but that's Coldplay you know just coming through you know you know it's changed up enough you know the lyrics and everything you gotta watch it I'd recommend watching it yeah, but, yeah send it to me yeah mm-hmm yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it makes me like Coldplay even more, even though it's not. <laughs> I mean, it's a cover, so, but still, it's yeah, it's a cool one. Okay, I mean that's how I, I mean this as I think Scientist is probably my, Viva is probably my favorite. Scientist is up there. There's a couple others, song wise, but. Yeah, I mean, they've made a lot of music, man. They have. Yeah, they've been around a long time. Yeah. From 96. Yeah. yeah. Okay, buddy, what's your number four? Oh, I got uh, Tyler Childers. <laughs> like uh, both music, indie folk type music. And you have more Americans on this list than your actor fucking. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, I'm not a big fan of. Uh, except for I will have some other country band coming up for you. <laughs> Next. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Tyler Tyler Childers and just uh, we came out a few years back. Uh, I found out about him because of a guy that's coming up later in my list. Um just like getting into his music and shit and then like a few years back i don't know like 2012 i started getting into like i don't know like indie folk music and like more americana style shit and kind of drifting away from like the metal scene and and then just more chill type stuff and yeah man, this dude this fucking guy like lyrically music playing ability like his band and just you talk about lyrics that like resonate, man, and like hit home and shit. It's just this his stuff is just all of it is just amazing. It's it's just there's like there's really not an album he's out now. All of it is fucking good, and it's like he does one of his newest ones is like the almost the entire album is just instrumental. There's like no lyrics in it until the last song. The whole album is just all fucking music. So it's it's fucking crazy for someone like Ball just to do that. But yeah, and then the last song, he, the last song he put out was like God, it was pretty controversial and shit. But yeah, dude, I've just been a big fan of him for a long time. Now, like when he first came out, I was like, 
yeah, he's good. You know, he's all right. I like this other guy better. But then it's like once I sat down and like fucking listen to album after album, it's just like that that addiction fucking sat in. I was like, oh, fuck, this dude's fucking amazing. (laughs) (laughs) Cool. Have you ever heard of Have you ever heard of him before? Nope. He's great, man. Hey, another one. He's another one. If you like Johnny Cash, man, he's one of those guys that he, that style of music, man, that Americana. Because that's what Johnny Cash would be classified as is that folk indie Americana style now. Because he wouldn't be classified as country music anymore. Because country music's that fucking crap, like Dave Sundin and stuff like that is what they call country now, right? So yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't see people like Cash and fucking. That's they were like, on yeah, I guess they were like the in between, like country and rock type deal. Yeah, but they didn't get really the they didn't get the rock scene though because Cash was country back then. Cash was country. Yeah, because like Waylon yeah. Jennings and all those guys, fucking, they were all and like fucking, all of them were country music. They didn't get. You didn't have like a, there wasn't like definitions that they didn't get like. They didn't get pushed out of the industry. You know what I mean? Because country music back then was like the rebel music. You know, you it was holding your own and being that style. Or now, the Americana scene and the folk and the fucking bluegrass—that's a lot of that is now the rebel style music. They don't get invited to like country shit. They don't get invited to country music awards. You know, because now it's, because it's rebelling away from what country music is. So yeah, it's, <laughs> that's how music always is. You know, well, it's always evolving and changing. So. Yeah. Those be haters. Okay. Anyways. Cool. Job, job. Coming in number three on my list. Um. Taylor Swift. You say Taylor Swift? That's. Oh, I thought, I thought that's what you said. Oh, well, yeah. I mean. It's <laughs> <laughs> taking off, dude. That was some good stuff. <laughs> She's not that bad. I, I like I like some of her stuff. Anyways, uh, we'll go Volbeat, <laughs> number three. <laughs> Volbeat? Yeah. Volbeat. Volbeat. Norwegian. Norwegian. Look at you. You're fucking yeah. non-American yeah. ass fucking man. Yeah, Denmark. Yeah, that's like at least two in a row. Coldplay, mm-hmm. Volbeat. I think John, Johnny Cash is American, right? Yeah. Yeah. More like fucking Canada. Maybe Canadian. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like Volby, man. Now, Volby. Yeah. Man, I don't know. I don't know how I got into Volby so much, but I did. I enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, I enjoy their uh, the music, the music. Bum, bada, bum, bada, bum, bada, no. <laughs> um, I really like their "Still Counting" song. It's probably my it's, well, it's my favorite song. They have a couple other ones that are pretty good. Um, da, oh, fuck, what's his name? Yeah, I don't know. I can't think of the top of my head. Yeah, Denmark. I thought you said Norwegian. I didn't. <laughs> I was wrong. I corrected myself though already. Oh, did you? Oh, okay. I, I, I sorry. I was trying to look up some of the stuff. Yeah. You, 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 you. Yeah, dude. How like I said, man. Before we started this, I, I was. Uh, I've never really. I've heard a few songs from them. I've never really listened. Like, full, sat down and like listened to them, listened to them. Doc Holiday. That's I'm what not, I was thinking. That's a great song. Warriors Call is all right man. too. Heaven or Hell is probably their most popular one, but it's it's a eh, for me anyways. I think that's the song that I've heard. Yeah. It's old. Yeah. Lola Montez is pretty good. The Bliss is not bad. I like their album art. I know that has nothing to really, I mean, do with them. Obviously, they didn't create it, but so you know, whoever they hired created it. Whoops. 
pretty rad. Anyways. <laughs> you said that album art is rad? Yeah. Pretty fucking rad, man. What the fuck kind of accent was that? I, I don't know. I just, whatever accent. Just, <laughs> fuck, I just made up. <laughs> Why does it matter? Uh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> What the fuck are those? It was those? awesome. Whatever it was, it was perfect. It was spot on, dude. Spot Whatever on, too. To do, it was spot on. <laughs> oh, gosh. That was amazing. <laughs> All right. You should hear my uh, Shaggy and Scooby-Doo combo. <laughs> right, no time like the present, dude. <laughs> not doing it now. Not live. <laughs> We're not live, but not being recorded. <laughs> Uh, All right. I, I, you should ask Skylar about it. I do it every once. <laughs> it's so random too. I'll just randomly uh, do it, and she'd be like, what "The fuck, he's smoking over there." <laughs> like I don't, I don't know, man. I don't yeah, know. I'm great. just over here for a good time. <laughs> yep, Michael Polson though. He got quite the tang, and his tang, I mean, his accent. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's what happened there from another country. Woohoo! Okay, your turn. Right. <laughs> oh, Parkway Drive. Parkway Drive, is that what you said? Yeah, Parkway Drive. Parkway Drive. Church Choir? They are a church choir. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, <laughs> imagine. Are, imagine pulling are, up for church one day and they're just there ready to sing the hymns for you. <laughs> definitely a church choir band. <laughs> from, from, they're from Byron Bay, New South Wales, Australia. And oh. they sing a lot about Jesus in their music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn I gotta it. get belly chuckles on that one. Uh, uh, their their music is very very loving towards God and mm. everything about Him. <laughs> uh, been pretty lucky to keep pretty much the whole squad together. It looks like other than yeah. their bass player, they switched out a few times in the early years. But I mean, for yeah. the past fifteen years, they've had the same same squad rolling. Yeah, I, I slept on these guys for a long time, man. My brothers have been in love with them for, fuck, dude, for for years. My brother's like, you know, listen to them. You gotta fucking listen to them. And, like, I just was like, ah, oh, it's just another metal band, you know? Like, all just right, whatever, I'll get to them when I get to them. And I, I, where I, was living, I think we were living in Salt Lake, and I was like, all right, man, I'll put them on. And I put on, I don't know what was, I think it was Horizons. And I was like, this is really good. And and I was like, all right, let me listen to some other stuff. And I kind of like fell away from them a little bit. And then when I moved to Phoenix, I they an album called Higher came out. No, that was not that, nope. What was it? No, Reverence. Wrong. And I was like, fuck, <laughs> fuck yeah. And then and that's when I really got into them, man. And ever since then, I fuck dude, that band is just. I went through and listened to all their shit like on the regular. That's actually a shirt I have on right now. Is a Parkway Drive shirt. I got a couple of yeah. Volby shirts. I guess I could have worn yeah. one of them, but we're not doing. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're not. No we don't like showing our faces anymore. Yeah, well, Al's like so. face isn't pretty enough yet. <laughs> oh, my face is not pretty enough. <laughs> but yeah, dude, their their music is is amazing, man. <laughs> They uh they can kill it, dude. Every album is pretty good. Uh, their earlier mid, their earlier to mid stuff is really really good. Their newer stuff is okay. There's some songs in there that are really good, but like Horizons and Deep Blue is fucking amazing albums. But you know, when when I lived in Phoenix, my brother came out there one time and uh, they were playing down in Tucson, Arizona. Tucson. And me and, my, me and my brother drove down there, man, to fucking see him. And it's like two out, like an hour or something away from Phoenix, an hour, almost two hours. And we got, we drove down there to fucking see him, dude. And they just, they put on one of the best shows I've ever seen. And nice. Yeah, that'll it was make, in a small but That'll make small, you fall in love with that band real quick. Yeah, dude. It was absolutely 
phenomenal, man. And there was a small, small theater too. And we had like killer burgers before we went in. So it was like a really cool experience all in general. But that band was just, they just fucking crushed it, man. And that's where I bought this shirt that night. It's fucking cool experience, man. And, and you've had it was like it the first show with my brother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was exactly. Like I was like, I liked them before, but that show, that's one of those shows that you're like, fucking, all right, sold forever. Sold on shit. Nice. That's, that is pretty yeah, rad, dude. though. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think, like, you guys like that's happened. like songs about Jesus. Parkway Drive. It's happened to me, like, um, I never cared for, oh, shit. No, I can't think of it. Oh, what's that chick's band? Man, I am not good at remembering bands and stuff. <laughs> oh my god, Black. Yeah. No. The chick singer? Yeah, it's a metal band. Is or Arch Enemy? No, no. Uh, fucking. Evanescence. Oh, Black Widow. Yeah, just Black Widow in general. Black Widow. I don't think I've ever heard of them. Black Widow. Oh no, it's Never In This Moment. It. The band name is In okay. This Moment. Okay, that makes more it, oh, sense. Oh, In This Moment? Okay, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I know who they are, yeah. In yeah, yeah, moment. yeah. So I had never heard of them, and I went to a Volbeat concert, and they were they were there. And... I had the opposite effect from that band. What do you mean? I see. I seen them in concert, and I fucking disliked them even more. Really? <laughs> in yes. This Moment? Yes. And then, like the show they put on? They she put some fucking... interesting shows in. She changed costumes like 16 fucking times. Yes, yeah, she did. Why are you changing fucking costumes? <laughs> Sing your fucking music. You need to put on a fucking show, not change fucking costumes. Yeah, that's what it you're is, not, though. You're, you're supposed to be putting a show on. Spears. You're not Britney fucking Spears. Quit fucking changing costumes. Stop it. Sing your fucking music. I don't want to see people fucking set up here and tune guitars and fucking dance around like fucking goddamn go go girls. I want to watch you put on a fucking show. I'm not here to see a burlesque show. I'm watching metal fucking music. Get the fuck out of here. That's the same thing with Rob fucking Zombie. When I went and seen him, he was like, Ugh. my whole love for Rob Zombie went out the fucking window. I'm still Rob Zombie. I'm not here to watch a bunch of stupid shit on fucking stage. It was retarded. Yo, man. It, it killed me, dude. Because I, I liked it. I don't mind in this moment. They make good music. I, I, you know, it's not like something I put on like when they're out there. Like, <laughs> it's doing the dishes in this, this moment. I think, it was the Man, I think it was like the Manson show with with uh, Slipknot, I was like, I get it, you know, it's gonna fit this whole night's thing, but it was like, I mean, even Manson fucking was like, not doing, and Manson was horrible that night, and he, then he put on a better fucking show, I was like, what the fuck is going on, what like, the... I was so baffled by like, she was, she spent more time in the tent than they did, than she did singing songs, <laughs> and I'm like I, I, like, I was like, I'm happy I did not pay for this, because I would have been mad. Not even mad. Like, I'm, I'm, I was like, I went and got beer. I was like, fuck this. I'm out of there. I was like, this is ridiculous. Yeah, but anyway, that's my opinion in this fucking moment. That fucking shit is crazy. Uh. <laughs> All right. Had opposite effect with me. Yeah. Yeah. I enjoyed their music. Yeah. In fact, my stepbrother is big in this moment fan. Yeah, well, it's, we all can't make good choices in this life. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, <laughs> whose turn is it? Yeah. What's your uh, What's your number two, man? What's my number two? Uh, AJR. Oh, what's AJR? You don't know who AJR a is? AJR. It's kind of like a uh, Coldplay, similar esque. Uh, probably Skylar's favorite band, I would say right now. But my my second favorite band. AJR. AJR. They're pop band. Modern Backstreet Boys thing. Modern, yeah, it's just pop. 
I've it's... never even heard of him before. Never heard of him? You like Spongebob? No. <laughs> I don't uh, I don't think I've ever heard anyone say they don't like Spongebob and it just got me so, well, off, I'm not a so off guard so like <laughs> I was an adult by the time Spongebob came out I guess but still I just wasn't ready so like, everyone your age likes that garbage yes so I don't care what it is man it's Spongebob is like the best thing ever like, no wonder you're like, so hurt um, inside <laughs> I grew up with Doug in Rugrats. I didn't eat trash like Spongebob. Spongebob will make you whole. Dude, there was, there's no quality to that cartoon at all. It it's got the like worst. the best movie ever. Spongebob is the worst. <laughs> the worst. The worst. Is this band affiliated with Spongebob? <laughs> Not really. It's just... Oh my god. <laughs> my eyes hurt. I'm trying to hold back my tears. Oh my god. Mm. No wonder what that's that's I put <coughs> SpongeBob on your guys' generation. Mm, SpongeBob is the best show ever. Uh, that's the end of it. Anyways, moving on to AJ. You're wrong. <laughs> You're wrong. That's okay. You're wrong. We can all have wrong opinions. Oh god. I can't. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin now. AJR. Yeah, they haven't been around. I mean, this is active since 2005, but they got, they really just have gotten big in the last five years or so. Bigger, anyways. Nice. Last five, six, six, seven years or something like that. <sighs> right, Rebel? I know, what you, I know what you mean. Oh, it's these three brothers. And... I don't know, it's pretty, you gotta listen to some of their stuff. I'm not saying you gotta do it like a deep dive, but like, um, I don't even are know. They, are, they are they affiliated with SpongeBob? No. They did a. Well, then why did you bring up SpongeBob? Well, they did a SpongeBob esque song. <laughs> did, they do a, did they do a remake of like the theme song? No. They did, like, the I'm ready thing. Anyways, you wouldn't know. You don't watch Spongebob. Let's just stop talking about it. <laughs> Alright, I'll give these guys a listen. I've never heard of them before, dude. No, this is probably Skylar's favorite song. Favorite song. Favorite, favorite band, though. Alright, I'll give them a listen, dude. I don't listen to pop music, dude. I, I find it, um... Yeah, they're like indie pop. Yeah, I don't, I don't bit listen of... to it, man. Whatever the fuck. All my time is, is spent is. listening to like electronic music, <laughs> heavy metal, and, 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 and bluegrass. And One of the genres is electro trap, electro pop. That count? Nah, dude. I, <laughs> I, I listen to like, I don't know, bad dubstep and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to trash dubstep, dude. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> SpongeBob threading through me for a complete loop. <laughs> AJR. All right, I'm going to give him a listen. I put yeah. him on, I, I'm, I'm keeping notes here so that I know what to listen to. If you want to listen. Yeah, I would just. Vol uh, Volby uh, is not on the list. Ne that's fine. <laughs> I don't care. No, listen to like, their they're, album, they're Neo Theater. The what is it? Neo Theater. That's probably their best album. 2019. Peter, why, I, I actually, I, I have him on this. We'll just, I'll just go to a YouTube top hit here, and we'll listen to their top YouTube songs. I don't like that though, because I don't feel like top songs defy bands. That's just what's yeah, popular. That's, their most popular. that's not what's that's good. That's the most popular shit though, dude. Being popular and being good is two totally different things. Well, that's know. what their fans like, dude. I guess so. Whatever you want, then. 
because usually whatever is like their top hits on YouTube versus if you were to listen to like, because I'll go through YouTube music and I'll, I'll go, I'll, I'll look through their like top played songs because usually that's like what the people that are actually streaming their music listen to. So I'll, I'll go through that like list and see what people are listening to that actually listen to their music. And I'll, yeah. I'll pick out of there and I'll just do like a random pick and I'll see what's good and I'll listen to it. Maybe Re- Rebecca's might have heard of them, but I doubt I'm it. Sure. She usually, she's listens to usually what I listen to, but she listens to more more sh- like poppy shit than I do. So, so and if it's good, she she's always look, looking for new stuff for work work related stuff. Is it PG type music or at least yeah. PG thirteen? Uh, yeah. It's not talk, it's not talking about bending over hoes or anything like that. Is no. It? Okay. She could always look for. She's always looking for new music for like work stuff. Because she's always like playing music before her meeting start. Shit. Yeah, they do a lot of. They got this. They got like a Netflix song that's kind of based off The Office. Um, okay. That's pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard. Hundred Bad Days is probably my favorite song. I can't believe I've never heard of this band before. They're fucking huge. They're fucking huge. They are. They're like the new Coldplay, as I was saying. <laughs> Whoa, let's not put them with that pick here, bro. <laughs> Eventually, they'll get there. <laughs> no, nobody's the new Coldplay, dude. Coldplay's not are even they Coldplay. Sell, are they selling out fucking goddamn fucking soccer stadiums? Yeah, well, I think they're... Or actually, I don't know if they are. They might not be. I don't think they are, actually. Are they like that K-pop band, dude? That one out of freaking okay, Korea? Okay, they are not K-pop. <laughs> That fucking well, I can't know that. What's that K-pop band that's selling out fucking soccer stadiums, dude? I don't know, man. There's one I don't, I don't know nothing about K-pop, but there's that one K-pop band that like sells out fucking soccer. Oh, stadiums. they're from New York. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, what's your number are two? These, are these guys the new Jonas Brothers? Is that what they are? No, they're better than Jonas Brothers. <laughs> Everybody's better than the Jonas Brothers, but the Jonas Brothers are humongous. Thank you, Disney. Anyways. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Disney. Dude, Disney. You're number two. <laughs> Kings, dude. My, my number two is Sturgill Simpson. Stur the Simpsons. <laughs> he is the gift to the music industry. Mm. 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 Has he been in the Simpsons before? You know, I don't know. Maybe feel like that's something that needs to happen i feel like that's a simpsons thing right like they're just meant to be like not like as an ongoing thing but like like a one random ass joke and like a quick (laughs) one-liner i don't know but he fucking he put a fucking sign in front of the the uh the country music awards people's fucking lawn and it was a sign for them to contact his dirty dick washing service dirty dirty uh, that dirty that's pretty bitching. Pretty bitching. Country. He, uh, hey. he released what five five albums, and every single one of them has essentially been like a different style of music. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And then he's released. Then he released two a, a duo of an album. It was like a two volumes, and it was all of his previous music remade into bluegrass. Yeah, I was about to say he's so, got. Outlaw country, country, blues, rock, and bluegrass. It's his yeah. genres. Yeah, but then he made like an electronic album too. Wow! So like, yeah, he's got an. He's actually got like almost. It's like a half animated type movie on Netflix called Sound and Fury. So that album is like super electronic influenced. Um, but his first album is like country. Second album was like this fucking country acid rock. And he's American style. Yeah, yeah, he's from Kentucky. Kentucky, um, yo. And then uh, his third album is like this weird, like brass bluesy fucking style. It's, it's fucking. And then the fourth one is that electronic type shit, dude. And then he released the two bluegrass ones, and his newest one is like this crazy, like back to that like country bluegrass Americana style. He's just fucking. He's nuts, dude, and he fucking. He's just super anti. Mountain he hates the fucking guy. system, dude. He's fucking amazing. Fuck the system. What movie? He's what my hero, man. Yeah. Whatever. But 
yeah, essentially, like, I'm in love with everything he does, man. I don't, um, yeah, he's great, dude. It was like a rail, he was a railroad man, man. He, he worked in the railroad most of his life, dude. And his wife, like, finally forced him to start making music and like to go on tour and start doing it professionally. And he used to hang out with like fucking, um, Chris Stapleton and a bunch of those old guys back in fucking Nashville and stuff, like when they were trying to make it and, you know, shit, dude. I've got, I think I've got to see him twice. I don't know how much longer he'll make music because he always said he was only making five albums. So, and then that he was, and that was it. So, yeah, it looks like he wants to get into acting. Yeah, because he's been in a couple movies, producing, he's been like produce some stuff, and then I think he's gonna probably possibly like do some anime stuff, maybe write some write some movies too. Yeah. So, wants to do a reboot of an American werewolf. Mm-hmm. In London. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, Pretty he's fucking awesome, dude. Smoking picture of him in the wiki page. <laughs> oh, that one, that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's a fun guy, dude. He's, he's cool as shit. One of the, I've seen him twice, man. I've seen him when we lived in Vegas and when we lived in Salt Lake, and there's just fucking, man, just amazing shows, dude, and. If you, anybody is, do you watch his, some of his late night? He's been on Colbert and then Letterman, man. And those performances were fucking great. And he's just, uh, man, just f- fucking awesome, dude. I can't get enough of him, dude. I, I listen to him all the time, pretty much every day, multiple times a day. I have some some Sturgill Simpson going, so yeah, love that guy. Check him out; it's great. Nice. <laughs> number one I need to do like the watch mojo no. number one no more watch mojo man what number mojo? one <laughs> what, what culture the Beatles the Beatles 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 we were just talking about the Beatles we were that's cause it was on my list. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. What do you like about the Beatles, man? I ask this everybody who's a Beatles fan, dude. What What, what do, do you, you like about them? I like their music. What do you think I like? <sighs> but why? Like name. What's your favorite Beatles song? Hmm. Um. The Rose song. I already forgot the name of it. Oh, not the Rose. The, uh, yeah, Sergeant. No, that's the fucking. I'm dumb. <laughs> One sec. <laughs> everyone, like, tells me, like, Imagine, right? And, like, because that's a Lennon song, right? More than it is Beatles song, you know? So, like. I loved. <clears throat> their Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club uh, album was nice. What am I doing? What is life? Oh God! What am I looking up? Hmm. <laughs> Yellow submarine. That's funny. I don't know. Rigby is pretty good. Makes no yeah. sense, but I don't. I, I, I just feel like I don't know, man. I, I just I've always been like I like the Beatles. Don't get me wrong. I think the Beatles are one of the greatest bands in history, and what they did for music is I've always been appreciative of like the style and what they've done. Oh, Strawberry and, Fields Forever. That's my favorite song. Strawberry Fields Forever. Yeah, it's okay. I think because like. Strawberry fields for. I'm a big, I'm a big come together fan. I know that's a big song that's played out, but I really, I really love, really love the lyric intentions of that song. Um, and then I'm a big Help fan. Help's great. It's probably one of their most famous ones, right? <laughs> I'm a big fan of their poppier songs. <laughs> help, you want to play Help? Help. <laughs> help. Um, 
help my brother. No, no, I've just never been. Hurt. <laughs> Chuck's never been like the biggest Beatles fan. <clears throat> I blame. Just so, I, so iconic, dude. I took a, a like a music history class in college. I blame the instructor for me liking the Beatles because yeah. pretty sure he was a big Beatles guy. So we listened to a lot of Beatles and mm -hmm. I just kind of fell in love with him from that. So I guess that's yeah. how that happened, man. I mean, I mean, I was I said, I, mean, I, I understand like the love for him and I, I get it. I just, like I said, I mean, I'm, I was always more of like when I was young, see, I didn't grow up with them. Like my dad liked the Beatles, but as I got older, I started discovering like some of the other stuff, like Zeppelin and the Stones, and some of this other music. Where I was like, the Beatles, like what the fuck is you know like, I it just felt like I wasn't, I was exposed to other music around the same time that I was exposed to the Beatles. So like I guess my appreciation for them Ooh. wasn't as drastic as what some other people's was. Actually, Skylar's favorite band might be Queen. I just thought of Queen's great. Queen is Queen is and another Queen's another amazing band. I don't yeah, Queen be my top ten. Yeah, for me personally, I can see that. Yeah, Queen Queen's great, dude. dude. Queen Queen has just had so many fucking good songs, man. Strawberry fields forever. <laughs> Uh, queen. Uh. Queen's great. What's right. your number one? My number one is number the one. What was it? <laughs> the Deftones. The Deftones. The Deftones, man. Deftones. How do they even know what they're making if they're deaf? They're deaf. I don't know, man. Like, how do you know? If you're deaf, deaf how all, do you know? They're deaf to all tones, dude. How do you know? How do you know, Bobby? Discover, I think I discovered this band. I was like, I think was I, I was a fresh. I think I was a freshman in high school. It's the first time I heard this band, dude, and I was like blown away, dude. And then I just deep dove and found out they had two more albums before that. And then I've been in love with them ever since, dude. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've yeah, yeah. seen, seen them a handful of times, too. They're fucking great live, dude. I got, I got to see them at the Red Rock Amphitheater in Denver with Incubus, and that was... A fucking bucket list concert, man. That was fucking amazing. Buckets. Yeah, it's pretty great. It's another one of those bands, dude. Just fantastic albums, man. Almost everyone's great. They old. <laughs> <laughs> They've been together since they were in high school, nice. essentially. Like right after high school. 80s yeah well they were yeah they essentially been the deftones since then since what 80, since 90 so 88 yeah but they weren't really the deftones back then they were they were still trying to figure out who they were they, it classifies them as being together but they didn't finish the band's official lineup until like the night until like 1990 yeah their first album was what 96 Late 95? Uh, 94. Adrenaline came out in 1994. Was it 94, 95? I thought it was 94. I think it was finished in 95. They probably let singles out in 94. Yeah. That's probably what happened. And the album came out in '95. Oh, yeah, it says here released October third, nineteen ninety-five. Yeah, that's the day they became who they are. 
Yeah, and that's the crazy album, man, because it doesn't sound anything like like the rest of their stuff. Like most bands that are this old, you know, can twenty plus years old, and you have music like 2020. that. Twenty twenty. So. Damn near thirty, right? Almost thirty years old. The band's been around, so. So yeah, and we have been right. So thirty, thirty years. Fucking bad to make music. Nice. Essentially, they almost, old. Essentially, the same guys too. <laughs> yeah. The only, only reason why I don't have the up. same guys is because because it because the Jay died. So. Cheap, 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 Jay. Jay. We quit so before. He, he died. Yeah, only because of his health issues. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, if, if he would have never had his health issues, he would have never quit. So. And then he and then he died in a car accident and stuff. But I think he had like had some issues and stuff like that. They all had problems and shit. But that's why they like stopped making music. And then after he had, so what he had. Well, they were working on they were because because they were like having creative problems and shit like that and he had some issues and they all they all had fucking problems at that time dude so they, they separated and shit and then when he died they didn't fuck dude they had issues back coming back together and stuff and then they got Sergio Vega who's a he's a beast anyway fucking dude's sick so Mm. Lost John Lennon too soon too. He was only yeah, forty. He's a, a fucking weirdo. He was, but man, weirdos make the best shit. Fucking. Well, I'm not gonna deny you there. Fucking. This is a fucking weirdo. <laughs> weirdos make good fucking music. They make good art. They make a lot of good shit, but. That fucking guy. Fuck, man. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Man. That's it. So I had Johnny Cash five, Coldplay four, Volbeat three, AJR two, and the Beatles at number one. AJR. Who did you have? Got uh, Seven Dust, Tyler Childers, Parkway Drive, Sturgill Simpson, and Deftones. 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 Okie dokie. I think it's good if the audience, which is the viewers, which is people that should subscribe if you haven't. <laughs> if you got some bands or you'd like us to listen to, comment down below. I always thank you for listening this long. And until next time, bye. Yeah. Say bye, bye. Kyle. Bye, Kyle. Bye, Kyle.